How do we play hide and seek with his creation? No. You see? So I said, look, he says, La ilah. This is no God. You give him another type of God. The God is, you know, like the one that Gagarin was looking for. When he went into outer space, the first Russian astronaut, he went round and round and round, and when he returned, newspapers of the world, they carried banner headlines from one end of the newspaper to the another. It's quoted in inverted commas. Where is your God? Where are your angels? Question mark. Gagarin, he wants to know. Making a mockery of religion. So I met a Christian priest, and I'm telling him, I said, you know, Gagarin wants to know where is your God and where are your angels? So he said, the guy's a fool. I said, he's not a fool, you are a fool. <laughs> it's a concept you gave him that God is old Father Christmas, sitting on some planet. So the guy went round and round, he didn't see him. Angels were beautiful women with wings, well proportioned, 36, 24, 36, well proportioned, with wings. <laughs> So, and there are myriads of them, millions and billions of them, and he didn't see a single one. Has he got no right to deny? He has. It's a concept you gave him. All those beautiful women flying around, billions of them, and he didn't see a single one. So little wonder he said, Look, where is your God? Where are you angels? It's a concept. So he said, la ilah. There is no God. I said, congratulations. He's taken the first step towards Islam. Can you see? That's the first step he has taken towards Islam. His sickness is different from the mushriks of Makkah, from the kafirs of, of Arabia, 1400. His sickness is different. He's developed by different causes. So congratulate him. Congratulations. I'm with you. I also don't believe in a God that walked in the garden. I also don't believe in a God that uh, Musa alayhi salam saw his backside. The Bible says, first book of the Bible. He says, Musa alayhi salam to Allah, Ya Bari I want to see you. In the Quran, Allah says, Lantaran, you shall never see me. In the Bible, he says also, no man can see me, me and live. He said, no, I love you, I must see you. He's insistent, like naughty children. He must see God. So he said, well, I'll do you a favor. He puts him between two rocks. And he puts his hand in the opening. I'm reading the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible. He puts his hand in the opening. Oh, God, his big hand. So Musa, alayhi salam, can't see him. Then he turns his back. And he takes away his hand. And Moses saw his backside. You believe in a God like that? No. You believe that a woman, Maryam, carried him for nine months? You believe in that God? No. You believe in Rama as a God, Krishna as a God, Buddha as a God, Ganesha as a God, Hanuman as a God? Do you? No. So he's taken the first right step. He said, La ilaha. There is no ilaha. Congratulations. Teach him now. Illa Allah. So it's a fine common ground. Uh, there just seems to be a question from a Christian uh, friend. On the day of judgment, according to the Bible, Jesus would come back to judge the world. How about the Quran? What does it say about Jesus on judgment day? As the Quran also uh, says that Jesus will come on judgment day. Why choose him? Why not Muhammad to come on the day of judgment? Uh, let us deal with the Bible first. You see, Jesus says in the Gospel of St. Matthew that when he comes back, he says, on that day, that day, the day of judgment, he said, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, do Bashar, in your name? Did we not prophesy in thy name and in thy name cast out devils? And in thy name do many mighty works, many miracles. So Jesus says, I never knew you. Then will I profess unto them. Then I will tell them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Get away, you rubbish, I don't even know you. That is the purpose of his coming. He's telling you. To tell you, who's saying, Lord, 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 is a foot sack, I don't even know you. Get away, you rubbish. This is not my teaching. The Quran says, that on the day of judgment, Allah bari ta'ala will ask him. Say, oh Jesus, oh Isa, did you tell your people to worship you and your mother besides Allah? Did you? He says, ya bari ta'ala, I never did any such thing. If I had done any such thing, you would have known it. And as long as I was with them, I was a watcher over them, a guardian over them, to see that they never did any such blasphemy, kufar. But after you took me up, you know what they did. So, 
فَإِنَّهُمْ عِبَادُكَا So if you punish them, they are your servants, they are your property, you can do what you like with them. وَإِن تَغْفِرْ لَهُمْ فَإِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ You are exalted in power, you are wise. In your wisdom, if you feel they deserve hell, that's your business, your prerogative. If you want to forgive them, you have the power, the might, nobody can question you, why you forgive these people. This is the purpose in the Qur'an. The Qur'an says, this is the testification to teach you a lesson that he never blasphemed, he never claimed divinity. And those that claim that he is Lord will go to hell. Jesus says, he's a foot sack, get away. You perform miracles in my name? Who, who does he say get away? Rabbi, who? Not to the Muslims. Because no Muslims perform miracles in the name of Jesus. No Hindu perform miracles in the name of Jesus. No Jews perform miracles in the name of Jesus. Who does it? They say, we perform miracles. We heal the blind and the lepers and we heal the sick. Who? Christians. Who build hospitals and orphanages in the name of Jesus? Christians. In whose name? In the name of the Lord Jesus. They said, anybody who says, Lord, Lord, get away. I don't even know you. Go to hell. This is the purpose of his coming. To put his followers who have strayed away from the path back to the path. That this is true and you who have been blaspheming, if you don't learn, don't repent in time, don't rectify yourself, you will go to hell. How did Jesus pray, or in, what, in which way did Jesus pray? You see, Jesus prayed as the other Jews prayed. How did the Jews pray? Exactly as the Muslims do. This is in the Bible. You see, we read in the Bible, in the Christian Bible, this Bible of Jews and Christians, the Old Testament and the New Testament put together, is the Holy Bible. The old is supposed to be the book of the Jews. And the old and the new put together, put together is that of the Christians. You read there, and Abraham fell on his face and prayed to God. Made sujood and made, prayed to Allah. And Moses and Aaron fell on their faces and prayed to God. And Joshua fell on his face and prayed to God. And Jesus, towards his last days on earth, he went to the Garden of Gethsemane with his disciples and he said, wait and watch. Keep God. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed to God. Ask them, how does a man fall on his face and pray? Except the way we Muslims do. There isn't another way that a man can fall on his face and pray. No circus acrobat can do any better than that, better than what we do. Show them that this is how he prayed. He fell on his face and he prayed to God. He said, oh my father. In his time, the word was allowed. He could say father for God, means Rabb, yeah, Rabb is the Abba, but the same meaning they had in the mind as Rabb. Islam forbids it, that you should call him Abba, because it has now other connotations in people's minds. Otherwise the word father, the living father in heaven, there's nothing wrong with it. But people have got other connotations, the words change their meaning. Good words, good words, they get prostituted. I give you an example, like this word gay, gay. You know, G-A-Y, gay. Look, when I was young, at school, they taught me a poetry. All the children were learning a poetry. I will repeat it, you might have heard it before from me, I don't know. So, gentle lords and ladies, gay, on the mountain dawns the day. You know, this is gay means happy, very joyous people, men and women, happy and gay. Now, as I'm growing up, Sometimes I read the newspaper, I see the word gay. I say, what's gay? Something funny about that? Gay? It's not what I understood what gay was. And still I don't get the joke, and it took me a long time. Gay, 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 reading about gay, I don't know what gay is. Now, of course, I know that when you are gay, you get AIDS. <laughs> Another beautiful word. Look at it. We want to aid the third world. Don't they say that? They want to help them. AIDS. What a beautiful word. Huh? Now they prostitute that word aid for that, what they call acquired immune deficiency syndrome. So they say aid, acronym, shorting it. This is the West. How, what was the question? I think I drifted off. I'm getting tired. Right, the prayer. So he prayed to God Almighty and he said, Oh, my, oh our Father. He 